What's up guys? This is Brent with 247parts.com and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to change out the fuel pump on your riding lawnmower. So let's get started. First step just to get us some more room is we're going to remove the hood. Next step will just be locating the fuel pump. It should be very easy to see. You're gonna see that same circle shape, usually right here on the outside of the engine, and it should just be held on here by two bolts. Next, before we do any actual work to the fuel pump, we're going to go on the opposite side and remove our spark plug cap. That way we don't have any chances of this mower coming on while we're working on it. Now here back at the fuel pump, before we remove our two bolts here to take this fuel pump off, first thing we're going to do is remove both of these hoses. This one going to the carburetor, we have a clip here, and this one going back to our fuel filter in the fuel tank. So we're gonna use our pliers to remove these clamps and pull these hoses off. Good idea while doing this is to also have some blue paper towels underneath here, just for any spillage. Next, we're either gonna take a 10 millimeter nut driver or a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet, if that's what you have. And we're gonna take these bolts loose here. And then lastly, to pull this pump off, you are gonna have one more hose connection, as you can see right there. This is gonna be the vacuum from the engine that's going to that fuel pump. So you just simply need to pull the pump off of that hose right there, and then you'll start to have your leakage. Now, going on with our new fuel pump, we'll just do those exact same things in the reverse order. So we're gonna start by looking at our back nipple here, going into the vacuum tube that's coming from the engine. Make sure and get that seated all the way down to this ridge. And then we can go back up and we can go in with our two bolts here. Tighten those up just a little bit just to where they're not gonna come loose. But be careful because we don't wanna break the plastic that this pump is made out of. Next, we'll just go back on with our two fuel lines here. Then reconnect our spark plug. Next, put our hood back on. And then just like that, you're ready to go. Now, real quick here, let's talk just a little bit about why you may have to change this out. And it could be just that your pump has gone bad. These do go bad after a while when you're talking about multiple, multiple gallons of fuel going through them. They are just a simple vacuum style pump, so at times they will go bad. Also, some things that'll happen is this screen at the back here will get fully clogged where you can't clean it or, will it or it'll get damaged, and then that is going to hurt the performance of this engine and could even make it fail. So that way we need to make sure that we're checking that screen, seeing if we can clean it off. If not, you may have to go ahead and replace this. But guys, I hope you found value in this video. I hope this video helps you out. And if it did, we just ask you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel as that helps me out as well. Also guys, if you feel like I left anything out or you have any other questions or comments, make sure to leave those down in the comments section below so I can be sure to get back with you. And also while you're down there, make sure to scroll up just a little bit into that description tab. Check out that link to 247parts.com where you can get, go to get all your parts for your John Deere lawnmowers, tractors, gators, compact construction equipment, all that good stuff. And then also lastly, make sure to go check out our other channel, Western Equipment, for more just general information over these machines themselves. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, make sure to go buy your parts right here and subscribe right here.